such a pleasant surprise that the sun is shining. That happens very rarely here. But this is so cool. And the landscape here is just stunning. Well, uh, wind is freshening up a little bit on our way to Grand Brit. And it was supposed to freshen up. Uh, not a lot of wind actually, at like 9, 10, 12 knots by the time we get in there. And we're about two and a half hours out from Grand Brit. And uh, so the wind filled in just a little bit. We got about five knots of wind. We're bringing out a little bit of sail. Mr. Gibbs has the helm. Yeah, we're not sure what to expect in Grand Brit. We just know it's an abandoned town, but some people say that somebody's living there. Uh, some people say it might be frozen. Some people say it never freezes. So we have no idea what to expect. Yeah, so what do we do? It's frozen. Yeah, then we continue on to La Poil. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it'll be uh, interesting because uh, if we get in there and it's frozen over, um, can't stay there obviously and then we got another two or three hours to go to La Poil, which should not be frozen um, and then the conditions start picking up so it'll be an interesting evening if we can't get into Grand Bridge. Yeah, so since we have the Genoa out we gained half a knot which is great. Yeah now it started to snow and it's really getting colder you can feel it and as soon as the sun is gone it's yeah it's getting a little bit more uncomfortable but it's beautiful so beautiful here and i always got my tea so that keeps me warm i can hold my face warm here with my tea even perfect <laughs> sorry Dang, that's beautiful. Wow! The houses are big here, I can't believe it. And it's all abandoned. Crazy. <laughs> well, we gotta pull it this way, Edward. Ah. <laughs> so we're tied up here at the main dock here. It's a really good dock. <laughs> the waterfall is really loud. The houses are, some of them are fallen apart. Yeah, Hurricane Fiona apparently took out a bunch of these buildings like I mentioned earlier and it's definitely they're gone. Like you see in the photos from last summer before Fiona and there were all these little shacks out here, fish shacks, and now it's just a pile of rubble all over the place and that, that one's the most notable, the White House on the dock on the yeah. west side. So we're here at the other dock now. The dock looks pretty stable, this one here. We were hoping to tie up on the floating dock, but this is definitely a no-go. It's not even attached to the main dock anymore. A little bit too much water in this house here. We're hoping to get some service at the old church here, but obviously not. Clara Billard lived here. It's actually
actually really cool. It's with old cedar shingles, the whole house. Yeah, beautiful little house. Yeah. That apparently was a bathroom or a washroom or something, no? Uh-huh. Dang. Yeah, I just came back from the walk. This, nobody is here, absolutely nobody. And it's such a weird feeling to be somewhere where nobody is. Like all abandoned houses and nothing to plug in. Usually we come and we plug into shore power. And um, here it's because there's no sun, we can't really charge our batteries. So we really have to be very frugal, which means I will make a fire now and I will cook on the wood stove instead of this stove. We won't turn the lights on as we usually do. So just be very careful because at one point we got to get out of here and then we need our batteries. First morning in Grandford and the sun is shining. This is awesome. Wes is already out there because we got to use the sun for charging our batteries. This is so cool. I think this is the best weather we had since we left Louisport. And then in such a nice place, all for ourselves. We're going to explore a little bit now. It's super cold, it's minus 10, but it's gorgeous. There's some ice patches on the water. Doggies have fun. Yeah. This one, this building here is the old community center. Let's go on top of the hill and see what's going on there. Did you pick up a signal on top of the hill? I got uh, two bars of LTE on one of the hills over here and oh, wow. picked That's up weather and it said uh, there's a special weather statement for strong winds and heavy snow, blizzard conditions and travel could be difficult, which is a good thing because we're not traveling. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have to make sure that the boat's nice and tucked away uh, by mid morning Friday and uh, nicely tied up. Yeah, let, do you want And the winds go from shift from the south to the west. So uh -huh. I'm not as concerned about the big swells rolling in as much. We'll still get some some motion, but 
we're gonna get pretty hammered against that dock so yeah we found some really good driftwood because we won't have enough wood if we want to stay here or have to stay here for a while so we're just cutting wood because it's just sitting around here it's perfect <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> oh wow, some dark clouds coming in. Looks so cool. <laughs> Doggies! Edward! Got funny. Doot doo doos! Third day in the row that we have sunshine. This is like very unusual for Newfoundland, but we're so grateful. And being here in this abandoned town is just like a gift. It's awesome. The docks can run free. We have a waterfall. It's just so beautiful here. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, guys. Come on. my sunglasses I want to use them when I can look our oh, shadows yeah this is cool we're on top of the hill again downloading some weather and check messages and here on the horizon, it still looks beautiful, but you can see the storm coming in. Did you see this winter Where storm warning? No, winter storm warning? Hazardous weather conditions are expected 20 to 25 centimeters inland, maximum wind gusts southerly 80 kilometers an hour. The boys and I were going to pick up some more wood. Edward and Elski, they're coming with me. Wes doesn't feel so well. I think he's getting sick, so he lays down while I Go and find some more wood. It looks almost like the apocalypse. But it's just a blizzard. Thank you so much for watching. Grand Brit was a special experience for us. It's a little bit like survival training after the apocalypse. If you would like to know how we made it through that vicious storm, don't miss the next episode. And please subscribe to our channel. It helps us out a lot.